So good morning everybody. I wanted to show you a few things dealing with Cradle Point and load balancing. My name's Chris. I'm with Connected Solutions Group. I'm one of the router support engineers. And uh, again, we're going to talk about load balancing today. We're going to talk about load balancing multiple WAN interfaces. We're going to say if you have a Cradle Point router that has an embedded modem, cellular embedded modem, and an ISP connection, just say it might be DSL and you might have 10 meg and you're trying to get some more bandwidth, or you might have two DSL connections, one's 9 meg, one's 3 meg, and um, you know you want to run them both. Well, what you can do is you can go here in Cradle Point's router, 2200, 1600, even the IBR 600 series, um, IBR 600C-150, um, I've created, uh, you know, three WAN interfaces here. Um, you can go to Cradle Point's website and look for the NCOS version um, uh, knowledge base articles. But in this case, I'm running NCOS version 7.1.30. So as long as you're running 7.0.0 or better, then this tutorial will be okay for you. So in this case, there's my Ethernet WAN. Um, we're going to go here. We're going to go to connection set. We're going to enable this. We're going to enable this round robin. These are the options for load balancing. Okay, you can do rate. Round robin is 50 50 50. So it'll if you have three different WAN interfaces, it'll send traffic out all three. Just say you have two cellular modems, okay, or another router another cellular router plugged in on WAN 1 and then the embedded modem plugged in here and you want to run them both okay you might have 10 meg here and you like I said you might have 10 meg here well just say the traffic is bottleneck in one of the WAN interfaces and you need more bandwidth okay it'll evenly distribute the traffic out both interfaces you enable this you save it this is totally separate from each WAN interface. You have to then go into each WAN interface, okay? You actually you have to enable the connection set one, okay? Connection set one for each one. You can see this one's red. When I enable this, it will go red, or excuse me, it will go green from red. See how it goes green? Just connected. So now that one and this one are both active. You can look here under connections. Um, you see here, this one's up and this one's up as well. Connected. WAN 1 connected. And you see how the cellular information? So in this case, you can actually go here and do a speed test. And actually, I look right here and I'll watch this when I do this. You can watch this. Watch this. Go from 327 to 350. See how that just moved? You can go right here and do the same thing. 4.68. Nine, you see that? See that? See how that's on Verizon? It's doing a speed test on Verizon right now. And I'll show you the difference. So just say we're going to only run the cellular connection. I'm going to disable that interface, which is that little checkbox. See how it goes red? This one is still up. See that? Let's do a speed test here. See it's on Verizon only? See that? Or you can go up here, re enable that interface. Okay. It'll turn green. I wait for it to turn green here. Then I go and disable this one. 
and I can do a speed test here too. And this will show you that it's now only on that interface. See it turn red? See the difference? You can also enable more than two WAN interfaces. So just say that this was a this wasn't here. You can add another WAN interface. You can add the name, you can pick it, Ethernet, unique ID, you can name it WAN three and go through, put in the Mac and all that, and you can create it. In this case, I already have two, okay? I already have two more. All these are, are ports on the back of the router, LAN 2 and 3, I turned into WAN 2 and 3. That's it. I left them as DHCP, so it picks up whatever WAN IP that you connect to it, okay? And you can come here and enable the load balancing on this one as well. So you can actually load balance four different WAN sources. One, two, three. You can either you can even segregate set one and create another set for set two and you can have one and two together and then three and four. And then say I want to load balance these two and then if these fail, fail to these two. But if you load balance in this kind of situation, okay, you can also create traffic steering rules with this to then say you know what? I want to send traffic out of all these interfaces. You can plug up your other modems on ports 2 and 3, which is technically LAN 2 and 3, but uh, on the back of the router, but it's actually WAN because we know it's a WAN port 2 and 3. Um, and then we could go here to traffic steering and we could say, um, let's look at the local networks and you can see. So these two are your my VoIP VLAN and my... Um, regular local area network, I could create two traffic steering rules to say, you know what, I'm going to send all the VoIP traffic out of the cellular interface, and I'm going to send all the LAN traffic out the WAN, the WAN 1. Or, you know what, if this one, if that one other one fails, we can create multiple rules, right, within this. And you can do this by specifying this here. I know this is what my VoIP VLAN's uh, gateway is, the target, and I know each WAN interface has its own target unique identifier. Uncheck that. That's only if the other top WAN 1 fails, will it only work on cellular. Okay, we don't want that checked. We want it to work. We want all cellular traffic or all VoIP VLAN traffic, which is this local area network, to always go out this unique identifier UID 36C11FE7 which is here 11FE7 so that's the way the rule would look okay source is always the local area networks gateway you could also do 10.10.10.0 slash 24, but I always just do the gateway because that's what it's set up on. 10.10.10.1, so it knows that's the source. Um, I've had some issues where I, I had to put this as 10.10.10.0, and I've had other issues where I've had to do it as .1. So you just have to do it, do a speed test, make go under the client list, make sure it pulls the actual um, VLAN IP here. You see, 10. Uh, you see 10, 10, 10. See, the phone pulled that just then. Um, and then you can look, if you create some QoS rules and see, watch the VoIP VLAN pull traffic. And then you can also like do a call or do a speed test and then watch the actual interface traffic move. There. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's load balancing. That's with some traffic sharing rules thrown in there. But, um, but yeah. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.